So let's talk about allergies. While allergies are common with a lot of people, the repercussions of not knowing how to treat them when they become serious can be really deadly. Yeah, so today Dr. Jen is here with her mini med school. We love this segment. Mm. It's how to deal with a severe allergic reaction. Yeah, I mean, this literally hits home personally for me because I suffer from a lot of food allergies. But this week we learned about the Food Network celebrity chef, uh, Michael Chiarello, his sudden death from an allergic reaction that then progressed to anaphylaxis. Axis. Um, so I wanted to go over with you guys really how that process occurs, the physiology behind it, and the signs and symptoms of really what to look for. Because when you talk about an allergic reaction like this, um, there are some hallmark signs. So the first one really, and this is for food allergies um, mainly, but it can also be Geo um, and our executive producer Kat, we're talking about bee stings. These are the classic signs of severe anaphylaxis. Hives, uh, low blood pressure, also known as hypotension, any respiratory distress, so a tingling in your throat, swelling of your lips or your tongue, um, obviously difficulty breathing, but GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, often the first really? sign or symptom, especially in someone with a food allergy that is starting to have an anaphylactic reaction. And you wouldn't think right away that you would need an EpiPen for that you would not unless you've been diagnosed with mm. a severe food allergy. All right, and so uh, so what should you do if you suspect that you, you're having this kind of reaction? Okay, so first of all, if you know you have an allergy, you want to tell people, right? So um, that that's the first thing. If you're with someone, you want to assess someone's, we call it ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. Um, are they conscious? You want to administer epinephrine, the EpiPen or epinephrine auto injection, which I'm going to show you guys how to use. You absolutely want to call 911. That is very, very important. And if you are with someone who is not conscious or is having difficulty breathing, you want to put them on their back with their face and belly facing up and make sure their chin is, you know, kind of pointed upwards to help keep their airway open. Okay, so show us how to use this EpiPen. People who have them know, but also people right. who are around them should know how to use them. Absolutely right. correct. So again, this is a tester, but this is very similar to what the real one looks like. It has a blue top. You want to pull that off and then it can go through clothing. You do not have to take someone's clothing off to do it. And I'm gonna stand up. Where your hand drops, we say blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. You literally put it right into your leg or the person's leg. You will hear a click. You hold it there for at least three seconds and you release it. If you give an, anyone an EpiPen, they must go to the emergency room. And you, you'll notice I have two testers here in my own allergy bag. I always carry two because you don't know if you've never given right. one, you may incorrectly administer it. Someone might get nervous. You might need another one. I also carry prescription Benadryl and prescription steroids because I have had an anaphylactic reaction. So, you know, people who know that wow. they are prone to these kind of things are usually ready for it. But this is life saving. This is life saving. And also check the expiration dates on them. Absolutely. I, I do that myself and I go, oh, this is not, a, not good. It's a little <laughs> expired. So this is, this is really important. And again, two is really important if you can carry two and make sure they're everywhere you are um, because, you know, one, you might misuse one. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. So good important. Thank you. Us, Dr. Jen. And be sure to check out the American Heart Association for more on how to treat a severe allergic reaction. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.